Okay, and so then this is, oh gosh, one of the, this is maybe, no, not Cuz, Cuz, this is one of the bad guys. And he says, give yep. me your apples. And so this gives us another clue about what's going on in the world. Let's eat first. We shouldn't linger. We haven't eaten in two days. He's got apples. Nobody has apples anymore. He does. So on, on one level, it's like just apples, like who cares, right? But the fact that nobody else has apples gives us a time scale on how long has it been since society's broken down. Like if it's been 20 years, then like, yeah, no apples and no way would Renton have apples either. And if it was like a month after society's broken down, then like people still have apples. So, so I don't know what the actual number would be, like how many months or maybe years. I don't know how apples, how long apples would last in like a, in a silo. Um, but it does, it gives you, it gives you a limit. So I'd guess less than a year about. I, I was thinking it was less about, I was thinking it was more about distribution. I was picturing like there's rich people in Taurus who like live in high rises or cities or something. And they have access to this, to apples and meat and all these different things. But the distribution has failed so that it's hard to get the apples out to regular people. So for regular people, it's, they don't see their apples very often, if at all. I, see. I interpret it as an inequality thing. That's that's a good point because the farm because people still need to eat, so so the farms may be operating but underneath the control of the corporation Taurus, whereas these people mm -hmm. are on the block side, so like the the counter corporation people, and they may yeah. not have access to apples. Right, but then mm -hmm. uh, it also tells us that um, Renton has access to apples, which is like, wait, what? If everybody's like, what? Where? Why? Why is no there's no apples? But then Renton's like, I got apples, which yeah. tells us he has some secret up his sleeve. That um, or he was a, like a prepper. <laughs> he's a prepper and he had apple stores. <laughs> but yeah. they weren't preserved apples. There's, it's like fresh apple they're going to cut up. I, I guess now that I'm thinking about it, isn't it a statement that he is has the ability to grow apples because he has access to the ark? So, oh, I don't think he was growing them. I think he just had them. Like, I don't think he has an apple tree. Oh. Yeah. Maybe that's because he worked for Taurus for a while working on his project. Yeah. Maybe that's a holdover from before he uh, ran away. That's possible too. Yeah. Mm. I think about that. Mm. Okay. But either way, apples is telling us so much. Yeah. Like what, you know, what does it mean about the world? How did he get the apples? It's just still offhand comment, but just pretty cool. Yeah, offhand comment, little comment about apples, but they tell you a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Good storytelling.